Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take you through a little tip that was shared with me by one of our channel members Ashley a couple of months ago in order to try and help me get that little bit more stability from the sim. In short, uh, hopefully this will improve some of your experiences, if not all of your experiences. Give it a go. If it works, fantastic. If not, at least you've tried it. Uh, however, in the meantime, make sure you hit like and subscribe down below as well while you're here and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you found it particularly useful too. As a bit of a summary, since Sim Update 5 we've been experiencing really good performance improvements but increased instability with Microsoft Flight Simulator sadly and uh, at the time of recording we've had one hotfix which has uh, not really worked very well and we're currently waiting for another hotfix. What I'm going to show you guys is a little tip within NVIDIA control panel to limit and cap the amount of frames that your simulator can use any one moment in time. And what this does, for me at least, is it offers me um, more stability with my simulator and demands a lot less out of my GPU. So my GPU can sometimes run at 60% usage and it will quite happily be sitting there at 35 frames per second or so without really overstressing and straining and demanding a lot from the graphics card and uh, in certain scenarios where the frames per second might spike or decrease it's not doing that because it's not chasing the frames because it's quite happily just sitting at 35 all the time so at times where it becomes more demanding and I would go from 80 frames per second to 40 frames per second and thus triggering some instability what this does is it caps it at 35 and it sits there pretty much permanently now since Sim Update 5. So it's, it's a really good improvement that has benefited me massively and I'm sharing it with you guys uh, in the hope that it helps some if not all of you. So if it does let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, this it only really works with Nvidia control panel so I'm not sure if you've got a um, AMD graphics card I would imagine there's a similar system for this but I'm not sure how. So in, in relation to NVIDIA, that's what I'm going to demonstrate today. So we open up the NVIDIA control panel and we go down to manage 3D settings, which is already selected. So when I open it up, that's already what comes up as you've just seen. What we then do is we go to program settings and we want to select Microsoft Flight Simulator from that list. Uh, if you've got it installed on Steam, I'm not sure where it would appear here but I would imagine it's uh, somewhere you'll be able to find it. So have a little look for it and you want to then select Microsoft Flight Simulator like so. Scroll down you can see the settings here are pretty much just left at either global setting uh, like anisotropic filtering is application controlled. I haven't changed any of these except for two in bold and max frame rate uh, and this is the one that I've capped so when you hear me on a live stream saying I've capped my frames per second to 35 it is this and it's, uh, it's really helped my stability with Microsoft Flight Simulator so I can really highly recommend at least trying it and hopefully it works for you guys too. You want to click the little down arrow and initially it will be on use global setting uh, so turn it to on and you want to then select whatever you like so at the moment I've refreshed it from global setting to on and it, you can see there it wants 58 frames per second selected. Some people might want to select 60 for example but for me I don't notice much difference between 30 and 60 or anything else. Um, even 30 frames per second to me appears really very smooth. So um, Ashley, who provided me with a tip a little while ago, has got there uh, set at 30 frames per second. I've gone five more and I've selected 35 frames per second. Uh, you might want to choose something different. You might want to select a cap of 40, maximum frame rate of 40. But 35 is a really good value to start with, or 30, give them a little go and tweak. And then you just hit OK. And what that does is basically caps the simulator so whereas before you might have experienced uh, in some scenarios 100 or 80 frames per second or 60 frames per second and then at other times you might find that you're getting 35 or 40 frames per second and it's it's constantly chasing between the two um, this gets to 35 frames per second and it caps it out so it does not let the simulator use any more than that value uh, which is really good because then it means that it demands a lot less from the system. Naturally, if something happens and it drops down and goes to 30 or 25, so be it. But it means that it's it's got a lot less to chase uh, from a really limited technical point of view, uh, as I understand it. It basically just means that the sim can be a lot more stable. It sits quite happily at 35. Um, 
So give it a go. The next thing I've done is I've made sure OpenGL rendering GPU is gone from auto select to use global setting to specifically my graphics card of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Super. And I've made sure power management is not on use global setting optimal power, but I've changed that to prefer maximum performance. And that is it. I've literally changed those three values based upon a recommendation from one of our channel members, Ashley, and it's massively, massively helped uh, improve the stability of my simulator. So please do give it a go. And naturally, if you want to turn it off again, you can just go back into here and just go back onto global setting like so. And it will reset it all as before. But there we go. That's it. Nice, short and sweet. I hope you found it really useful. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell while you're here too, so you don't miss out on any new videos or live streams in the near future. Let me know what you think in the comments below and be sure to check out my live stream schedule as well. In the meantime though, as always, don't forget to drop us a little like if you've enjoyed the video. Hopefully it's helped a lot of you and I hope to see you all in a live stream in the very near future. Thanks for watching.